Five On a specified thousand. Never, ever, ever, ever stay at a Red Roof Inn ever again. And that's how. This is the genesis of the chicken and corn store. I'm sorry, but what the hell are you doing? Did you just grab a folding chair? No, there weren't any left. There was two when I went down there. I didn't see I took one of them. I wanted a spinny chair. I will bet you any amount of money I can go down there and within five seconds grab this, grab an identical folding chair. You guys all freaking hate on my story. All right, you got to share with Corey. The year was 2000. Bread was a nickel. Gas was 87 cents a gallon. Actually, that's not I had a full head of hair. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I, I was wearing my I like Ike st- and cornrows on the weekend. <laughs> I'm not. I've never seen your hair. And you have hair. Oh, I have hair. <laughs> Do you I got hair? pictures. I, I know there's hair somewhere else. I'll send them to you. Anyways. So, all right, all right, so it was the uh, during the campaign run-up, uh, all the hotels were taken in Boston, and, I, and my training class was actually downtown, and so I, I ended up having to stay about 16 miles outside of the city uh, in this BFF East space, and the only hotel available was uh, the uh, Red Roof Inn. So I go to this Red Roof Inn, and it, it was a bit of an ordeal, I got to set it up, because it, it was kind of a miserable state. It was a really good training class, but I, it was about an hour and a half drive from where I was in Marlboro, Massachusetts, into the city where I was getting training. And uh, so that was in the mor- that was on the way in, but on the way back, there was the di- big dig was going on at that time. And so, there, and Boston is a town full of one-way streets and streets that were just paved over horse trails. So there was no direct way for me to get back from my training class because of the one-ways and road closures to my hotel room. And so, while it would take me an hour and a half to get in in the morning in rush hour, when we would ch- get out of class at five, it would take me about three to four hours to get back to my hotel room every night. Uh, what was worse, when I get back to my hotel room, uh, there weren't any restaurants around. It was Red Roof Inn on the middle of uh, Route Nine. If anybody's familiar with Massachusetts, oh, yeah. and there's a there's Route a nine. there's a cement barrier, cement and barrier. the turnarounds are like four four or five miles. They're not like miles. every mile. You're not making the story better. Anyway, so what happened is essentially I would get out of class. It'd take me. I'd get out at five. I wouldn't get back to my hotel room until nine, and then I'm like, I want to get something to eat, but I couldn't really find anything to eat because there was no. No restaurants in the area. There's Dunkin' Donuts, uh, and uh, that was about it. So I was just kind of a miserable stay and long, you know, traffic every day. And then on like the third day of class, I took a wrong turn. I ended up on I-90. I ended up on the highway, and there's a little uh, kind of the gas station stop on the highway. So I stop in, and I'm super excited because there's a Popeyes chicken, and I'm like, I've been eating donuts and croissant sandwiches for dinner every night because there's no place around my hotel. I'm like, there's a Popeye's chicken. I'm going to order the whole thing. And so that's I, a step up. It, it, absolutely. So I'm like, and, and it was like a taste of home. I'm out in Boston. This is one of my first times out spending uh, a whole week out in Boston. And so uh, I get, I go I go to Popeye's and, I, and it's just me. I only got a couple more days in class, but it's Wednesday. So I'm like, I'm going to get, I'll take your 12 piece chicken and I, get, and I want the, the red beans and rice. The, I got the whole the, the whole nine yards, and get back to my hotel room, and, and oh yeah, and by the way, every night when I get to the hotel room and I want to t- kind of settle in before going to bed, I turn the TV on, and there's just squiggly lines, there's like such horrible reception, you couldn't even make out anything, it's just horrible. So that was kind of my, my deal, but that night, that Wednesday night, I felt really, really good, because I had at least a taste of home, uh, good fried chicken, and again, no black kids working in the middle of Marlboro Mass, so the, 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 the service is real good. Uh, <laughs> service not, is not to generalize the stereotype, and again, I'll, I'll back that up later. Sounds like you just you should generalized generalize. everything. Uh, anyway, anyway uh, so I get this, so Wednesday is perfect. Of all the nights, this is the best night ever. Uh, so then on Thursday, I go into class, hour and a half in, I'm, and I can't find the same way back, but it's okay, I'm like in great spirits, because when I get back, I still got like eight pieces of chicken left. I got my red beans and rice. I got all the stuff. I'm going to have dinner again. And uh, <coughs> sure enough, it's like four hours before I get back to my room. But again, I'm still in a good mood because I'm like, taste of home again. I don't have to worry about eating Dunkin' Donuts again for dinner. Open up the box, and there's like four pieces of chicken in there. <laughs> and Son like, of a... I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> you get in a car? Somebody ate my fucking chicken. <laughs> And I'm like, and now, and now I'm like, even though I have chicken in the room, I'm like, I'm not eating the chicken because somebody's been fingering my chicken. <laughs> you now you've got to decide what kind of human being you actually are. Now I fucking just go to bed and cry. My night is ruined because I'm not eating secondhand chicken. That's what kind of 
You know what I mean? You are. That's how it, you it's know, so, to find so, a man. So, so I'm like, I'm just, I'm pissed. I go to bed, and then I got one more night. Friday, I'm going. And so, again, I'm at a Red Roof Inn for a week. And anybody who knows Red Roof Inns, they aren't top-notch hotels. It should cost about 13 cents a night to stay there. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, so, anyway, I go to check out. And uh, the, the hotel manager comes says, okay, I got your bill. It's uh, $576. Jesus. And I'm like, the bill should be like $260. And uh, he's like, no. He goes, uh, you got you got uh, five nights in the hotel. And you got, uh, you, you got, and he goes, you got movie rounds. <laughs> and I go, dude. I go, I didn't, have, I didn't rent any movies. I go, in fact, the TV in the room doesn't even work. I go, and I wasn't going to bitch about this. But not only does the TV not work. I go, somebody was in the room and they ate my chicken. <laughs> and the guy's like, uh, and the guy's looking at me, he's like, going, no, no, sir, you watch two movies every day. And I go, I did not watch any movies. The TV's broke. He goes, and, it, and then he goes, clerks on me. And he's like, you watch Big Pink Pussy This, <laughs> Big Fatties with Big Titties. And he started listing off all these vile, horrible, pornography movies that I had not seen because there was a squiggly line on the bitch. But the thing that makes me mad and the reason I will never ever stay at a Red Roof Inn again is because some dude was sitting in my bed, spanking his meat, eating my fried chicken, watching porn in my bed. And I put my face on that pillow. It's why I don't put... Literally, when I, now I'm traumatized. When I roll over in the bed, if my mouth opens and my lip touches the freaking pillow, I wake up in cold sweat. Because there's a... I, all I picture is this dude spanking it. With front chicken grease. I've got to get this off my chest. I'm sorry. <laughs> I remember being in Boston that weekend. <laughs> and you know I thought it was... Funny that, uh, Here's the funny. The every last, time I came the last room, bit, there was fried chicken in my the, the last bit. I mean, I after well, I freaking yeah. go off on this hotel manager, after he lists all the freaking dirty movies, and I go off on him about the fried chicken and greasy dicks, he goes five hundred and seventy six dollars. <laughs> <laughs> that fucker made me pay. But so this, so for, I will never. If the apocalypse happens and the only indoor shelter is Red Roof Inn, I will sleep outside. That is awesome. Fuck that. That is awesome. I love the fact that he didn't discount one penny. <laughs> Actually, had he done like five hundred and sixty seven dollars and twelve cents We're instead good. of <laughs> We're good because I, I did I think I did see a booby that one night. <laughs> well the squiggle the squiggle. No, but, you, you know, and like I said, let's back that up. There's some dude rolling into my room knowing the trick. He's probably slapping it twice on the left side to get clarity. And then he's watching all these vile movies. On the left and he's side. Like, I, and he's like, I smell chicken. This dude's <laughs> bilateral. Exactly. I smell chicken. So, but I can't find his lotion. Jesus. Oh, <laughs> so, Todd, you realize, after talking to that manager, who the person was that was doing it since he charged you full price. Good point. He, he, he just, just, he he just point. solved it. You, <laughs> were, you were looking him right in the eyes. <laughs> well done, Mr. Sherlock. <laughs> if he, well, he looked down at the paper. And I then he had since much. Since he, know, since he didn't know the title was on me. <laughs> Sir, what's that hanging from your mouth? Is that, is that a I, piece of chicken? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> oh, well, nothing, yeah, nothing. Yeah, nothing. Hopefully it was worth the wait. $567. <laughs> <laughs> You see fingerprints on the paper? Oh, my goodness. I just, like I said, I can still visualize yeah, it. Is, is, my receipt? He was sitting ass naked on my pillow, <laughs> pulling, pulling Popeye's grease across his room. Popeye's, Popeye's grease suddenly makes me violently ill. Oh, good. I was worried. Inter- that's it. That's that's it. That's it. Now, here's the odd thing. I will never ever stay at a rubber event, but I'll have Popeye's. <laughs> My saving grace was those four pieces that were left out of the twelve. That was supposed to. Oh, he'd been handling them. And if I'd only knew what he was watching for, what if I put those chicken pieces in my not, mouth? You do not have to shout directly. We get it when you shout it. Bob, stay on the porch. <laughs> See how that just deepened? Yeah, yeah. Stay on the porch. There it is. There you go. Sir, as you know, so, so okay. funny. <laughs> you got to think though, too. Just as excited as you were that you didn't have to eat Dunkin' Donuts for dinner. <laughs> That guy was equally as excited. He's like, oh my god, someone found a fucking Popeyes and brought it to me. Exactly. I don't have to. Oh, oh, I don't, I don't, porn. I don't I think to, I'm going to let my hair down. I don't have to. <laughs> what are you saying? What are you saying about me? 
That guy's like, I don't have to jerk off in jelly donuts anymore. This is great. It's got chicken grease. <laughs> oh, are we going back to Portland? Is that where we're... <laughs> Jelly donuts? <laughs> oh, oh boy! I mean, we could. I, it's been forever since I've heard this story. Did, did oh, I, we don't, we've already told it. I don't know. Oh, that's so good. Well, and I know we we've told it on here yeah, yeah. once, but did you guys ever hear Bob's? Uh, I did not. Outburst. It is did. probably the I best. I wasn't paying attention. Probably the best story I've ever heard of my dad. No. I, I, by, by of or with? What you, of. Of. Well, 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 guess, did he ever tell you the story when we were at the sheep farm? <laughs> <laughs> Please do tell. <laughs> so uh, it's it's got to come from you because I can't. I can't tell a story about myself. Okay, all right. So oh, you tell the sheep farm story, and then you got. Wait, there's, there's, there was no sheep. I'm Jack. There's, there's no, no sheep. 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 There's there's no sheep. I don't know these things. There were young sheep too. Jack, Jack. There's no sheep. There were, I don't. There, there, there were sheep. We were. All right. And they were still, too, please and they were tell too young. The, they please tell the donut story. I can't tell the donut story. You can reference it. Tell it. Tell the story. So <coughs> the the weekend or the, the couple Skip days we were in Portland for March Madness. I was I was there. We, we had met up with Todd one night. He, he and Mary came in and uh, we were hanging out and uh, hello. And I was gonna say I was schwaffling. <laughs> <laughs> schwaffling. Can we spell schwaffling? Can we get a a, a spelling on that? S C H. No, it, it, there's a C in there. <laughs> yeah. Waffling. Schwaffling. Yes. Yeah, it should be an extra A. Maybe it's some dots over the A. What do you think? Some uh, some um dots dots um up. Right. Who even knows what they're called? I took German for two years. I know this. That's why I was gonna say, can we get Nazi on it? <laughs> We're gonna kick this, get us kicked off a of pot beat, sir. You can't do that. Wait, I can say fuck, but not Nazi. Yes, that is correct. <laughs> I will. Yeah, you catch on quick, sir. <laughs> Must be the Colorado. Stay on the porch. <laughs> Keep your banner and stay Alright, continue, if you're going to. So there's these young sheep living <laughs> around this farm. <laughs> We're talking to you. They <laughs> 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 were nice young sheep. They hadn't done anything wrong there. <laughs> you just grab one up and... <laughs> Fall along. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see what happened next. I don't know why, but I, I have a vision of Falumpus <laughs> in a uh, cart. <laughs> is she Ford Fairlane? Ford Fairlane pushing around. Uh, she was in the room. <laughs> All right, are you telling the story or not? Because we can move on. I'd like to hear the story. I've never heard the story. Right. So, so the you, sheep were really Jesus Christ. Oh, not that one. <laughs> Shut the hell up and let me tell the story. <laughs> that one I know. I already know. <laughs> so the, 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 when we were in Portland for March Madness, mm -hmm. um, we had met up with Todd one night, and uh, we had already been out all day long. And uh, when we met up with Todd, Todd started drinking double Jameson's on the rocks. So at this point, we were, Bob and I were both pretty well off, but Bob was like, oh, great idea. I should start drinking double Jameson's on the rocks. <laughs> no rocks. Well, so, so he starts, starts putting those back, and we ended up going to, to Mary's place, which is a whole other story, but one of the greatest places on the face of the earth. Strippers on roller skates on a 4x4 four four stage. <laughs> Yes. yes. <laughs> That's four, did not know that part to, of the story. Stripping oh, to the the, the, the the theme song from Legend of Zelda. Uh, Thanks, Todd. Uh, Sorry about that. Uh -huh. uh, That'll come I, up. That means I'll probably have to tell one of my Thailand stories. If it helps, any Todd's wife was there and she found it hilarious. Yes. So I don't care. Oh, no. I don't think that helps. <laughs> Back to the story, so, story. Anyways, quickly. Still so keep, keep on drinking at Mary's. By this point, it, everyone's pretty pretty hammered. And there was a uh, a donut place around the corner, you know, Voodoo Donuts. That's world famous. I now have a Voodoo Donuts one block away from my house. Do you, like, <gasps> do you have a Blue Star? Do you live, do you live there? Did you I, don't know, I don't know about Blue Star. Blue Star is the shit. But uh, I'm in the gay neighborhood, so there's a lot of shafting going on. Yeah, no, Portland was kind of that with the story. Anyway, so back to the story. Yeah. Yeah. So, so that night there was no line, which never happens. So Agreed. we're like, oh, let's let's go get some donuts. Go in, Bob orders $72 worth of donuts. Yeah. You poked you the do. donuts? As you do. What? I was there. Yeah, we all ordered donuts. We yes. Didn't yes. You. yes. So we started going back to the hotel. <laughs> Get into the hotel, and I, I'm walking in towards the, the lobby, and I realize Bob's no longer next to me, talking to me. I turn around, <coughs> Bob is still at the door of the hotel, berating a homeless woman outside, just staring down at her, going, Fuck you! Fuck no, I can't, you fucking bitch! What? I'm like, Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> so, go back over. I'm like, hey, come on. Generally, he's calm-mannered. 
So I'm like, come on, let's let's go inside. So we start walking inside. All For of the sudden, record, you sounded like him right there. The, the, the fuck I, I, I tried, I tried. The fuck you! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he okay. turns around, runs back to the door, doesn't open it, but starts pounding on the glass, and is flicking this homeless lady off through the door, still berating her. Now the concierge that's in the lobby can clearly hear everything that's going on. Hey, to get you one? She comes around the corner, and she's looking at me like, "What's this crazy <laughs> bastard doing?" I, I don't know. I have no clue. I'm like, wow, come on. So we start walking. Go upstairs. We're staying on the Makes second floor. And over. when you get on the second floor, we were staying. There was our, our room. We were staying with uh, Bill Hay and, and Bob and I, and then our my cousin Nick and, and Andy and everyone. Is this a red room? <clears throat> That was just, a just high your quality holiday. Would holiday. Not holiday. Yes, holiday. yes, very, very classy. So better, better porn. There was their room at the very end, and then it was just a, a dead end. So I go to open the door, and all of a sudden, Bob just takes his bag of seventy-two dollar donuts and chucks it down the hallway, <laughs> hitting the end of the hallway. And I'm like, Bob, what? I'm, I'm going to say right now, this sounds like something I. So I'm like, dude, what the fuck is going on? Like, what is wrong? He's like, I can't even, I can't even talk about it. I'm like, well, well, clearly you can be a homeless woman, but you can't tell me what's going on. Okay, what? So I go to pick up the donuts, and I just see an arm come over my shoulder, smack the donuts out of my hand. He's like, fucking leave them on the ground. <laughs> And at this point now, now I'm like, okay, wait. I will say when Bob gets serious, it, it gets serious. <laughs> well, this kind of got to me because I'm like, wait a second, not my dad, just trying to help you out. So <laughs> we get in the hotel. Room. My name is Paul, and this is between the all. <laughs> <All right. laughs> <laughs> so get in, the, get in the room. Directly to the right is the bathroom. There's a, a sink and a wall right in front of us. Uh, and then you go around the corner. There's a, a the couch and the and the bed. When Bob was staying on the couch, I went and took a piss. Twenty seconds. I come out, Bob has the cover, the sheets on the couch over his face, snoring like you wouldn't believe. I mean, that, that was, it was, I mean, that was 20 seconds. Completely out. The world's right. Next morning, I feel a tap on my foot, and I roll over, and he's like, hey, he's got to, I'm going down to Mother's Place to get breakfast, and I got Bloody Mary if you want to go. I said, all right. I said, well, let's, let me get up on the shower real quick. I'll meet you well, down. We're there. talking hours later now. You've had time ba to. Basically, maybe. Yeah, like eight, eight hours later. Yeah, around that. Dead somewhere. So, go meet down, Bob down to Mother's it's place. Like I was sober, yeah. And uh, he's got a Bloody Mary waiting for me, and we're side belly up to the bar, and sitting there, we're both kind of just sitting in dead silence. And finally, I'm like, "Hey, uh, you going to talk about last night?" He's like, "Yeah, yeah, about that." I said, "So, what, what was the issue with the homeless lady?" Yeah. He's like, "Well, she asked me for if I had any food, which I, I tried to offer the donuts, and she didn't want. And then she asked for." cash, which I, I didn't have cash to give her, and then she moved on to, well, do you have any drugs? Which, Bob's like, I clearly didn't. So she got upset with me and started telling Bob that she had to leave her kid under the overpass of the freeway in order to come downtown to beg for money. And drugs. And, and, and Bob's and, a dead deep freaking tar tar. <laughs> And you're so, you're so, Mark. And you're not doing her any favors. You're I, to, I you totally suck. believed so. that there was a kid under a bridge <laughs> who was in need of some uh, of a parent. Uh, so, that's, so Bob's like, I was I'm so like, upset that I'm her like, her what? would leave her kid under the overpass of a freeway. <laughs> what? And I, there's I, I was the and, and, yes. and I said, so I said, Bob, justification. I said, yeah, Bob, yeah. just so just so you you know, we're clear. You realize there was probably no kid under an overpass anywhere. <laughs> no, bullshit, there was three. What, what, what did his <laughs> eyes look like? What did his you're, eyes you're look like? You're a hero, Bob. Oh, he just, yeah. just looked down at his buddy, Mary, and Bob, goes, You're a hero. Well, yeah, this morning, I realized that. <laughs> no, you're, you're uh, a hero. There was very, three kids under an overpass. A clear moment of clarity. A moment of clarity goes, yeah. I, I'm, okay, I'm, okay. I'm, I, guess, I'm a, I can now assume that they're sure. here. I, I like to think uh, I'm a good dad. And uh, that just set me off. I'm like, fuck you. <laughs> I've seen you set off. Go, go, yeah. How dare you leave your child in the green? <laughs> you son of a bitch. Fuck you. Like, uh, literally, like, I. How I, dare you not study? I walked in tonight. behind yes, him. Yes, I remember that. And I was berating her. And then, I, and then I came into the hotel and shut the door behind me. And she couldn't get in. She was outside the glass. And I would have started. Why would she want to get in? Because it's a hotel, it's warm, she's it's a transient. Oh, it's food, it's transient. Yeah, she's a transient. transient. Yeah, she's a transient. Yeah, she's really so I'm, walk, I'm, walking, I'm walking behind, behind Corey, and I go, 
hold on a second, dude. And I walk back. And you just let me go. go I'm like, first. second go. I'm like, hey, fuck you. You like you. apples? <laughs> <laughs> right. Yes. Yeah. Come. Yeah. Oh, I got like no apples. I got like no apples. Right. That's exactly what it was. Thanks, I better. Okay. Okay. Right. Myself, right. But I did not feel like explaining myself at three in the morning. Uh, that came. Well, you put it yourself. I'm going to sleep. Yeah, that came over Bloody Marys. But but I had no. I, I didn't have anything to take it out on, so I took it out on my seventy two dollars with the donut. I yeah. love so the I, fact that uh, wait a minute. You, you decided the next day to feel like a heel at that moment. Well, I realized I'm like they probably wasn't a kid. <laughs> <laughs> there was a he goes. Right. He goes. That no, was just one more no, ploy. It wasn't. That was a play. I, go, uh, I, I recognize that. So and this uh, this actually brought up. Like, there was a major difference from when I first heard the story from my dad, which actually is very interesting because the way he told it made it seem worse than when you told it. Yeah, that's why I don't like to tell it. I'm I like, mean, I, I, tell it. I, I could I tell, it. I could tell if it was just like you trying to forget that it ever happened or just blanking yeah, memory. Uh, a little bit of both. Yeah, I figured. But uh, the way he told me was that instead of like taking the donuts up to your room, he pounded on the glass, opened the door, and then chucked the donuts oh, at the oh, homeless. No, 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 no they were chucked down the hallway. Whole story. Yeah, yeah that, that, that homeless bitch never got a single <laughs> donut. Never got I, a single donut from I will tell you, that's what I heard. Yeah, but she didn't want any donuts, right? She didn't, she didn't want any donuts, right? No, no she, she wanted she drugs or booze or cash. That's what she wanted. Fuck if she was. Uh, I had none of none of the yeah, sending orders. Uh, you know, I, I would have gone up to my room, grabbed my Advil, and just started peppering her with Advil. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I'm I was too busy to immediately falling. Five hundred and six. Take a strong dollar. Exactly. What drugs? Six hundred. I got Advil, bitch. Thirty thousand milligrams of ibuprofen. <laughs> 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 or actually, even better yet, I'll give you a freaking my freaking Lipitor. <laughs> <laughs> so I started peppering this homeless woman with Lipitor. You take that. You want drugs? You got my cholesterol drug, you bitch. Three kids. I was too busy immediately falling asleep. So, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm about the, the methodology for getting even. So um, I think we go back to Portland tomorrow and see if we can find that bitch. I still have a picture of her, actually. We 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 have joked for years about going to Portland and seeing homeless people uh, camped out on the on the front steps of banks on the main main drag with like heavy down like North Face sleeping bags they're on their North iPhones. Face. They're, they're poor. Th- Face. <laughs> the people are homeless, but they're not. Uh, they're, 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 they're watching. I have a job, Bob, dude, that I can't afford. They're watching face. Netflix on their iPhones. That's how. That's how Portland's homeless operate. Mm-hmm. They're not homeless. Those are panhandlers, but there's a difference between panhandlers and the homeless. I couldn't tell the difference. Yeah, that's because you're from a first world city. Am I? Dear one's the first world city. Which, which world city are you from? Yeah, I know. I was gonna say, <laughs> aren't you? Aren't you living out of your here? Aren't you in your secluded area? mansion up in the up in the mountains? Oh yeah, I live, I, live, I, live a, I live in a humble cottage uh, in the woods. Humble up in the Adirondacks. No, the so fuck he wakes up at not. five a.m. every morning, cut firewood. Yeah, I chase chickens out of the freaking yard. Bullshit. Swat at the foxes. Keep out away from the sheep. <clears throat> he goes out the to water. Ones, he goes out to water his unicorns. <laughs> Going to the restroom, is that okay? It tends over his I know, gold. I know. So go, going way back to you, by the way, to your, your chicken corn story. Uh, <laughs> Girl Friday, he could say that was that story was everything I wanted it to be. Thank you so much. It's the perfect story. And there's more to come. Corey, what do we have? Are we ready to take a break? Uh, yeah, we're at 144. Let's do a break. Uh, yeah, because... Uh, Corey, do a break? Do a break. Nick, do a break? Yeah, we'll take a yes. break. Daniel, do a break? Yeah, don't, don't bother do a break. gaming. Fuck no. Yeah. Fuck you guys. Let's do a break. So I got like seven s- stories queued up since, too. Since Bob, 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 since It's all day balls. Given that last story, I, 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 I didn't expect you to throw some 
donuts my way anytime soon. No, no. Brad, if you want to retell that story now that the camera's on. I, uh, I, I don't you, remember uh, this Unless story. you've left a girl on the old pass. Uh, I've left a girl a whole bunch of places. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Actually, so so let's let's back up now that the uh, video's on. The yeah. first moment of understanding the letter of Kenny. Yeah. You understand it? No. no, no. But that's but the beauty. Yeah. Yeah. I've laughed at more shit than I didn't understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, hold on. You're from Michigan. We 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 border Canada on almost all sides. It. You, when you, you say, I, I, I haven't been south, from south, Michigan south, for like the five years. We don't really border them on the <laughs> east either, or the west. <laughs> yeah, so we do. We Just border them on the side ish. I don't, I don't want to get all north political. East. Let's, yeah. let's, let's keep <laughs> politics and borders out of that. It feels. Like we're surrounded by chaos. <laughs> we is there a map that we can? Draw? I just love the fact that you and I are so close to talking. Maybe you guys should kiss. You should have some. Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Thank God my kids have uh, fucked off upstairs. Uh, <coughs> oh, they're on. Oh, they're they're oh, oh, they're, the they bell. left completely. Okay, both of them. They, yeah, they checked in with me first. Wow. Why would they do that? I don't know. I was passing them. That's amazing. I was passing them in the hallway. Jack's like. And then you just left. <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay. Well, hey, bye. I said, you guys be safe. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why he had to check in with me, but he's a good. He's a good kid. It's like when someone gets up from the table, like I have to go pee. He's a good kid. It's like, oh, okay. I got good kids. I like your kids. <laughs> oh wow! Well, well, I, I, I like my kids. Let me let me raise my voice. Hold about not, I, well, can you tell the story? Not about, like to put, put your kids all over my face, kind of way. What the fuck, dude? This is not You're gonna get. I know I'm the correct. I've like raised my voice two octaves. Are we like that? You're gonna get too out of control, and you want to not be that man. I don't want to be. I like Bob's kids. I actually really don't even like them that much. <laughs> Why are you trying to do that? I understand. They're, they're terrible kids. Yeah. Would you tell the story, please, of uh, the Christmas the presents? Christmas present. the, the birthday presents in the trunk. <laughs> no, I'm not going to tell that story. Because Why? Much like you wouldn't tell a story that was centered on you. I'm not telling this story because I feel like... Can I tell you, it then? You can tell, but okay. I, uh, again, I just want you to know there's a bit of dad spin here because... It makes it sound like Uncle Tad, especially Black Uncle Tad, is trying to get a free meal out of people. Oh, uh, look, look. oh really why is it always going to come down to race, Black yeah, Man? Race. Mm. And, and, and free. I'm, I'm, race. I was going to paint free. you in a, in a completely favorable oh, light until well, you just said don't that. Don't tell him you're going to paint him. I know. <laughs> that's that's got a lot of people in trouble with. Yeah, oh. seriously. Exactly. Yeah, all over your face. Do you say something about Pink Lady? So... Todd, Todd, Todd was invited to, uh, I'm trying to remember whose birthday it was, I think it was Cecilia's birthday. It was Cecilia's. It was like her eighth birthday. I see. It wasn't eight, it was younger. He's gonna feel better. Because he's gonna feel better if it's young. Well, yes, 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 yes oh, okay, because right, he right. makes, because again, so now his, his version of the story makes it out that... I'm sorry, who was in office? <laughs> <laughs> Fair question. Yes, it is. All right. Linda Bates. <laughs> 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 is this during the George McGovern race? You know, before we hear the rest of, do we need a cherry? I think so. Let's let's have yeah. it. <laughs> All right, we're gonna we're gonna start. Uh, we're gonna give, give disbursements. Brett. Brett's going to uh, disbursements. Re repeatedly throw cherries back into the mix uh, for the next five minutes. You check into the story about. So it was Cecilia's sixth birthday, and I invited Todd. Uh, to my house to, Sounds like to celebrate the birthday. Family birthday. Family birthday party. Both Jeez, sides of the, of the family were there. And Todd and I had been working together for uh, a number of years. Uh, no. Yeah, yeah, she was born in 2000. So exactly six Word years. Well done. To the mother. Well done. Um, and okay. my, my kids love Todd. It's okay. My kids love Todd. They love Todd probably more than they love me. When I talk about all the time. I'm going to be honest, I, I like Todd more. Yeah, that's fine. I don't know about love. Hey, Cherry Boy, why don't you just... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I got this. Uh, I love that, too. So, <laughs> so love uh, Todd, myself. Todd showed up to my party. Uh, wait, as, he, as he always... I, I feel this. This is the Charlie's like birthday party? Yeah, Charlie, so he was his birthday sir. party. He showed up as he always did. He showed up probably Maybe. about an hour and a half late. But, like, he rolled in... <laughs> he rolled in like thunder. When Todd enters the party, the whole party stopped. And Todd walked out of the basement. <laughs> 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 exactly. 
Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. So, and that's, and that's, and that's, and that's why I show up a half hour late. Because when the brother band here He's early, that. people start fucking driving by and they're like, what the fuck is going on? Bob's got a black dude freaking right. hanging out. People are just throwing their wallets it's on the floor. Like, like, they got a brand new Cadillac. I'm not it. It. When, when Todd comes in, the record stops. <laughs> All right. Exactly. Honey, What's next, Bob. There's someone in our Bob. living room. I remember when. I remember when. <laughs> All right. Cause, cause again, you, but, you, the, just so you know, it sounded like you put me on CPT with the doctor's up an hour and a half late, like he always does. Mm, yeah, yeah. What are you it trying to say? It sounded like CPT. That's what it sounded like CPT. CPT. Wow. You, 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 were, you were routinely late for birthday parties, but... Because I didn't want to scare people away. But when you showed up, <laughs> and, and, and all the joking aside, every every single person at the party was like, Todd! They all stopped doing what they were doing. Because I brought my boombox, and I was playing some sick beats. I was I had down. Kanye before anybody right, knew. Let, I'm let, it, let it be known to Danielle is the only one who cares this po- at this moment that is, is Kanye West the best to bring to an eight year old. Everybody party. stopped and they were like, "Holy shit, Todd's here!" And it was it was a good it was a good point in the party. Okay. Hummer truck. The party went up beats, from there boom. because Todd showed up. <laughs> so so Todd came to the party and we we were either had just finished presents or were like just bullshitting over beers and we we had dinner with so Todd like oh grab some food. Oh, Cr- Christy's grandma was like oh Todd, <laughs> are you hungry? Would you like uh, a pound of spaghetti and meatballs? <laughs> and Todd had always already eaten, but he's like sure I'll take whatever. And, and he got this giant plate of like half Polish half Sicilian food, and he would just good naturedly just polish it off. And so and look yeah, at me now yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fighting good, trip. Right. Good nature. So, and Todd, diamonds. at the end of the day, Todd wanted to make sure that he got a chance to say happy birthday to Cecilia. <clears throat> so You're actually not telling the best part of the story, Bob. I'm getting to it, because you didn't want to tell the fucking story. No, no, but hold on a second, but there's another thing that I do. Now that you want to chime in. I'm only chiming in, and okay. again, I know it's toot my own horn, and it's not likely to do that. I don't even know if my name's Todd Dill. And, uh... <laughs> Dude, you know, I've been wondering how it is that we get to love Todd. Woo, you know, we do, but yeah. then I realized he's going to put on his own press. But, exactly. But, but his before, you, before you get material. to the end, because actually, I do think this is cool, and I still do this, by the way. What was the one trait around birthdays that I did for the kids? And I, I do it for everybody who has multiple kids. I think that should give you the hint. Dress up like a clown. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I don't recall. You I'm sorry. I think bastard. I'm sorry, dude. Did Jack get a gift on every one of Cecilia's birthdays? Oh, and vice yes. oh yeah. yeah. I'm a badass. Oh, yeah. You're so yeah. special. Yeah, because yeah. because the I rest of us over parents and above and be right. shafted by you. The that rest of so us, hard. the rest that's of the parents <laughs> were like, no. That's we got we got to put a stop to this. No, it's not my birthday. But I still get a present. No, Shit. Yeah. I'll do it for you. It's no, <laughs> but, but doesn't mean I like it. So, so this is what the, the rest of the agree. parents. The rest of the parents are like, I've got to instill the proper expectations <laughs> in my kids. And so yeah, it's not your fucking birthday. You don't get a present. Exactly. Tom, you a good uncle. Tom you rolled in with <laughs> presents for pre- always presents for Jack on Cecilia's birthday. Always presents for Cecilia and Jack's birthday. <laughs> He's like, yeah, swear about that's it. how fucking Uncle Todd rolls. <laughs> so both my kids, and, and which is another reason why every single person was like, Todd Dillon, party can start now. You know? <laughs> he brings presents. Because he brings presents for everybody. No, not for everybody, but all the all the siblings. <laughs> See, I, had to, so, I had to bring my kids out and go, this is not the black community. <laughs> <man." laughs> Just so you know. Hey, would you do me a favor? Yes. Would you, yes. Would you please take your headphones off? And give him to Brett, Do so what? he could understand what he sounds like when he doesn't put his mouth up to the mic. I think you get it. <laughs> Brett needs to hear. It. He sounds like a piece of shit. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so you see when you pull up to the mic? I see. There you go. Oh. You go. Over there you sound. That's like how that shit works, dude. Uncle Fester. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, to make long story short. Um, Todd's got to go, so he's like, "Hey, well, come outside." So we're gonna, uh, hey kids, come. We're gonna say goodbye to Uncle Todd. He's, he's taking off. He's like, "Yeah, I got your present." He's got his present in the trunk of his car. He's wrapped. I'm there. sorry. Is this a, a van without any? <laughs> it's Wait, not, no, not, a, not a panel van. It was no. a Mercedes van. Mer- fucker. Mercedes. Wow, this sounds so yeah. much better on this headphone. Yeah. Yeah. A fine automobile, uh, looking at. Uh, Perfectly in place. So it was a sprinter. In any neighborhood. <coughs> oh, so we go out. I, 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 what the fuck? No, we can share. Oh, there you go. 
Oh, oh much better. <laughs> <laughs> much, much better. Continue. It's like Breck here for the first time. Yeah, exactly. Success. Oh, oh my God. It's it's crying. I can see it coming. Jesus it's Christ. Like crying. Hey, right. Back to Todd Dillon. Back to yeah, Todd Dillon. So, sorry. so we go out to Todd's it's car. Like two and toddlers and locking eyes in a supermarket. <laughs> <laughs> we go out to Todd's car, and Todd's like, all right, I got your present out here. And Cecilia just got scared. Well, so yeah, of course. Black man trying to take her to the car. Go ahead, Todd. Correct. Because actually, here's a correction. So yeah. that was attempt number two. So actually, I did I did show up late. I was actually behind the uh, birthday gift exchange. It w and actually, I corrected that in years to come. <laughs> but that was the first one, and I was super late. So they already done the gift exchange, and I brought it late. And what ended up happening was I, I went to give her the gift, and you go, oh, give Uncle Todd a hug. So she had Turn around like, fuck that, I don't know that guy. Oh, and so you're like, put it back in your truck. And I'm like, I'll put it back. I don't want to put it back in my truck. Just give it to her. Shit. Your own spray. No, 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 no. Everybody no, here no. is ready to like me. You are mistaken. Everybody in their boots is slapping shivering, stop, stop. except for you and me. Stop. And I'm like, I. No, <laughs> no you are. That incorrect. is it. You are but the trunk, the, 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 the. Is that you? <laughs> the, the, the instance of the trunk was the second attempt to get. Because that was her second chance to kind of say and give Uncle Todd a hug for a gift. Uh, oh. And then Bob's like, don't give it to her. And I'm like, I, oh, okay. but I want to get it out of my So trunk. maybe you're oh, mixing it. stories then? So was it the, the same story. The it was first, the very first one. So good lesson. The first time you tried to give her a yes, present? Yes, the very first time. The first time you tried to give her a present, you didn't want it to go in the trunk? It was, I got it out of the trunk, Bob. And the, the, I, was, I was late. The very first time I came, yeah, I was yeah. super late. And so I... I got it out, and, and because it was mm. done, and it was a special one-off, she, you, had, she's like, oh, give Uncle Todd a hug, and she's like, fuck that, and you're like, if I were Uncle Todd, I wouldn't give it a damn gift, and I'm like, <laughs> and you're like, put it in the trunk on top, and I'm like, I put it in the trunk, because I like the way Bob freaking holds it down at his house, because he tells his kids to do shit, and then doesn't do shit, I don't do shit, I was actually loving you at that point, but then you made me feel, at the car, I'm like, I just want to get this mother out of the car, because I just don't have okay. it. Okay, so, so, it. so. <laughs> Are you perhaps referring to the next time you were at her party? Because at some point you were like, no, fuck that. It's going in the trunk. Cecilia's still here? Yeah, Cecilia's here. Yeah, she just got back. Cecilia? Uh, what? I need you to back me up on something. All right. I have never ever been mean to you, have I? That's my knowledge. Hold on. That's not talking. There was one time. In which what? he held a grudge against a against a seven year old <coughs> because she he she didn't want to give up. Oh, she put he put your present back in his trunk. Bob, Bob, and, Bob, and so that's Bob, it. Correct. When when we're when we're all cool continue. again, you can get this present for me. Uh, now I remember. Correct. I don't remember that. Yeah. It was it was birthday number two. It was it was the second time because you snubbed me twice. That's fine. The first snub. The first snub. Yeah. Uh, I felt guilty and I'm like, you should get a gift. The second time, and I, I was like, and I, made, no. I made it put it like, back in the nah. truck. But the second, the birthday, second time I did, I'm like, no, nah, yeah, no, I'm fuck that. I put it back in the truck. I Absolutely, did. I did, and I did it in front of the family and everything. I'm like, I don't remember, and I can't I'll back it. I, I'm telling you, I remember that. <laughs> okay. I'm like, I'm not giving the it. first time you, were, you didn't want to give a hug. If I don't get at least a fist bump for a gift gift, that gift's going back. I'm like, if you can't hug Uncle Todd, he's gonna put his gift back in the trunk. I will. He's like, okay. I will turn into that black man at the party. <laughs> that. Actually, the second one's much better. It was actually collectible. <laughs> like my dad always says, he's like, he's like, oh, I sent Christmas cards one time, and if I don't get one returned, they're off the list. <laughs> he's like, that's I it. Like it. I like that. I like that. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's up that, to that, you. Cecilia so and I had a setback. <laughs> Little speed bump. <laughs> Cecilia. Yes. Is this repressed memories for you? I don't remember any of this. Well, I'm sure I it guess. happened. You just answered our question. <laughs> for the record, okay. Jack's headphones are kick-ass. Actually, plus, actually, I don't remember which birthday it was, but <laughs> the best. Right. Bob, do you remember what the best slash too. worst birthday present I ever gave to any one of your kids? They're Bluetooth oh. and wireless. Oh. oh. No, I, I always remember your gifts were, uh, you, 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 wait, you, money was no object on the gifts for my kids. It's not even that, though. Very thoughtful, I, very I, tasty. No, actually, I don't the, recall. Actually, so I'm going to, this okay. isn't a horn tutor. 
<laughs> Dude, yeah. actually, as the kids got older, Todd my goal them. was my goal was to get both of you the loudest possible toy. That's true. I'm like, this is because <laughs> I think one year I got like a dr- I got you like a drum one that doesn't shut off. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. oh, there's an electronic like, drum kit. I'm like, no parent would ever want their kid to have an electronic drum kit where they're like four. I am getting that. Here you go. This is the best gift I've ever seen. And I was like. Put it together. Let's put it yeah, together. Yeah. Right now. Yeah. People are still, well, people it people are still slicing and cake, like, and I'm like, kids, there's that, cake to eat. Maybe we should, should do that later. Yeah. Like, we should put that together. So guess what? Uncle Todd didn't forget batteries either. Energizing. Lithium. Rechargeable. Except they were ahead of their time. <laughs> no, no uh, Olivia today? All right, for the, for the record, no, I'm sure she's working. So, Pizza Graph shows up for my child's first birthday. Oh shit! He's uh he's in rare pizza grab. We got form. pizza coming. I didn't know you guys were going to the. Oh, okay. You walked out and checked in. You checked out with Nick Bader. Yeah, he but did. not with me. Well, I didn't yeah. know who you were. Yeah. Okay, that's fair. I was the most fatherly figure in the room at the time. <laughs> he feels a laughter from my son. He that's <laughs> desperately. Concerned. He walked past me, <laughs> he gave me side eyes, and went, "I'm going to Taco Bell." And I went, "Okay." <laughs> <laughs> they left. She's telling somebody where we were going. All right. I, knew right, you right, right, right. I appreciate it. I knew you would relay the information. I, I trusted you. Thank you, Jack. <laughs> Way to be humane. That's a hot <laughs> shoulder right there. Yeah, 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 there's a bit of bite right there. Yeah, right across his shoulder blade. Unlike the day he pulled up hot next to me, berating me, thinking I was Joe. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. My bad. I'm like, what the? F-? Sorry, I know. So like, oh, sorry, man. Sorry. thought you were Joe. <laughs> I was taking my belt off of him. <laughs> <laughs> right, Sorry, so you were saying uh, Pete was at your child's... Your, your, right. uh, at, so our at, first, first birthday. birthday. First birthday. Right. birthday. Right. Yeah. This is actually rather humorous because I, I think day. about it now. I'm like, well, I kind of get it and I kind of don't. And uh, uh, it's Oops. probably the... <laughs> mahogany wings, Cody. The height of uh, some cocaine moments. Right. Can I say that? Oh, no. Just had those yeah, little fresco. Whatever drugs. Just sleep back in Anyways, established. Uh, and he was like, <coughs> so. <coughs> Jesus <coughs> Christ. Hey, 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 Choking? Was that, was that a gargoyle? <laughs> <laughs> Emphysema. Uh, me, 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 me. Get the fuck. <laughs> you got <laughs> pizza coming. That's all. I'm back, baby. All right. Oh, no, 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 thank you. Thank you. He shows up and he's like, "I got, I got to get for it." And we've had a bit of an evening, even though it's her first birthday party. <laughs> as you do it, as you do it, in all honesty, <laughs> on your child's birthday, first birthday party, you end up spending about five hundred dollars in alcohol. I think that's what. It was. What? what I, I'm gonna having had two children. I'm gonna say that's not at all true. Oh, he has three seventy five. Maybe that's how you do it. Maybe that's how you do it. Yeah, just bump it up. So he shows up and he's like, uh, so, <clears throat> you know, he kind of grabs his shoulder like this. Like, where's, <clears throat> where's that fireball? Dude, we, we, we got to make sure that Ari is down to the right music. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I music. I'm like, I kind of looked at him and I was like, which, which music is that? What are you talking about? <clears throat> he comes up and he pulls out from his backside. He's got like uh, six discs. Thank you, man. Mm-hmm. These are CDs back in the day. And uh, anyways, yeah, he gets between and goes, you need we, to we make know sure what CDs are. are. It, it, it's kind of strange that I say about this now. I th- I'm wondering if I've actually played all these CDs for her now. I'm feeling a little bit... Um, deficient? Yeah. Just deficient? Yeah. And now that I can hear myself, But she is still alive, is she not? She, she is, is living, We, we still have some opportunities here. But yeah, I just want... Know. Let's, let's go through the, the discs that he gave. I'm making her a mixtape. Okay. What do you think? What's, what's your first disc? What do you think? What do you mean, first disc? It did, that he gave. That that Pete gave to Arya yeah. on her first birthday? It, 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 or, or let's let's do it in two fashions. Genesis first Invisible first. Touch. <laughs> that would wow. be a negative. But what is two podcasts? Just so you know, two podcasts in a row, you come back to Genesis. <laughs> what would be your first disc to a somebody else that what, says, what I would I give? that child to be a good Or what do I think Pete gave? Uh, I'll go with both. That's what I'm trying to get on. Well, what I Ocean get? Ocean Size by uh, Jane's Addiction. Uh, 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 oh, yes. Uh, Jane's you, knew, you knew that. From, was, you knew from that Pete, was Jane's Addiction all the way. All right. For me, there's a couple surprises Jack Johnson, there. Curious George soundtrack. <laughs> you know, the kids, the kids want your own. It's a good song. No, but Pete did it. Jane's Addiction, 100%. The taste? No, no. But what, what's next? After Jane's Addiction? Yeah, yeah. The Jack Officers. <laughs> the what? Think a little more. 
Uh, pumpkins. Made. A little more what? Uh, was pumpkins not one of them? Really? Which is weird. Which little I thought was weird. Pumpkins. A little more what? Uh, you said I don't remember what I said. Hey, you literally just said it three seconds. I know, but think a little more what? what? Think it's a little more going going anyway. esoteric. Yeah. Esoteric? Well, he's trying to well, Garcia make, He's trying to make Arya a good person. <laughs> Pete trying to make someone a good person? Chew into the mic. Yes, because he's a kid. He's one year old. How fast are you? Yeah, wow, but he would have been a grown boy. I can learn how I want. No experience with a one year old. Thank you. Took a little down about an hour ago. Yeah, Oh, doors. It's very rare that he has anything but oh, dude, And by the way, Brother Man is pulling in all these mans like you've never weeks. heard of. I'm in withdrawal. Which one's Brother Man? Me? Sure. He just, he Brother just, man. He just <laughs> quoted uh, the song that that uh, that Brody sang on uh, on board of the ship in Jaws. Oh, I never saw that movie. Where's the? Uh, oh, it's my favorite. You've never seen Jaws? Where's Where's the the movie? Movie? <laughs> about an hour oh, right. and it went straight dude, you to stop it. <laughs> wherever I may be. Oh. <laughs> So the other one was, uh, I need to remind everyone this is an audio podcast. That's why we're singing words. <laughs> words. <laughs> now I know how close I'm supposed to be that I have. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Bob, have a shot. Have a shot. Do you have a shot? Anything to stop the singing? Have a shot. Todd, have a shot. Shirts. Sure. Have a shot. Corey, have a shot. No, oh, have a shot. Quite Fred, have a shot. I, I only want to come here for this. Fuck <laughs> it, boys. Let's have a shot. I, I love this. You just tell me I'll push his head forward towards the mic. So, <sighs> Danielle. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't asked anything of you yet tonight, have I? No. Can I ask you a favor? Sure. Could you grab a bottle of wine and a bottle of wine? Oh, wow. Hey, Todd. Wait Easy now. Wait a second there, Todd. I didn't say... Hey, <laughs> <laughs> I will agree. You had a much... It was much higher octave. It was. Where's the wine at? <laughs> Can you grab any bottle of wine so you can open one up? Where is it? It should be right on the counter. Uh, You know what they say, Danielle? Guilty feet have got no rhythm. (laughs) In the bag. Either one of those. (laughs) Thank you. There's an opener on the counter as well. I think it's quite nice nicely for me in the kitchen. The the disc that had the most impact for me from him was Pet Shop Boys. I can open that if you want. Pete gave you a Pet Shop Boys? Oh Oh my god. God. I was like, this one? I am genu- genuinely surprised. I'm not knocking on the door for five and, and minutes. I, I was too, and uh, that's the only one I've really ever played for her, although he did uh, do Metallica, which wasn't that much of a surprise. No, just so you know, everybody's kids are getting a freaking mixtape from Uncle T. Corey. Just, can, also, can you just like imagine his attitude? His attitude was, all right. I'm, I'm sure he was totally serious. No, no, I'm serious. Deadly serious. You know, I'm serious. He, he was like, I give this to you now. From here on out, it's your responsibility to make sure these children enjoy good yeah. music. Yeah, yeah. that's in, cool. In, in a negative way, but also positive. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Negative towards no, no, me. He, he's go. passing the torch to you. He's like, don't fuck this up. Bro. If yeah. I ever hear of them playing top 40 music, yeah. I will rip your throat he would be out right. and shimmy shawanga down your fucking... <laughs> oh, wow. Shh. Well, that was, actually, he never had to say it. He just it was implied by the visual aspect. <laughs> and I kind of believe him. No, that was, uh, I'll, I'll tell you what, That uh, there aren't many stories about Pete that could shock me these days, but that one gen- genuinely... Oh, well, I've got a few out. others if you want to get shot. But but in a good way. Like, yeah, yeah, right, no, no, the, all the others are very negative. Actually, so I have a short one, though, but yeah. Pete, Pete DeGraff yeah. saved my marriage. That's weird, because he tried to kill me. Well, <laughs> well he, he was actually, he was I'm the, actually not he was, he was part, of, part of the catalyst I'm that actually right caused he was, my marriage he the same not, thing for me, Brad. He was part of the catalyst that caused my marriage not to take place, and yet in the same night, he was the, the catalyst that actually saved it. I was there for that. I remember a witness. You, yeah, uh, can, so, I get, can I get a witness? Word. <laughs> so, on the, the night before uh, Mary and I got married, uh, we we had our uh, like people people had rehearsal dinner and everything. Nice. So that was the rehearsal dinner was oh, people in the wedding party, but enjoying all friends that. and family. And I didn't know that I, my friends from around the country were coming in uh, and going to attend. And so Pete, Brett, Kirk Patterson, Kirk, uh, right. pizza, there was, and women. Yeah, and there were lots of there lots was lo- of women. smart and yeah, lots of women. Would you like to talk 
uh, showed some up. Some were short and some were tall. Some were short and some were tall. And so anyway, fact, my wife said, we went, we went out, bo- we, we did a dinner, Makes me happy and then we went bowling as a group of that, and my wife left, That's and she goes, you can stay another hour, but I need to get home because you need to prep for the wedding. Uh, and this so I'm like, coming very vivid to me again. Yeah, and I'm like, right, no problem. I'm going on. <laughs> yeah. And so whenever they, closed, a, whenever they closed the bowling alley, like six hours later, I actually did show up at home. And you had you had that um, uh, uh, pool. Yes, yeah, and so well, that's that's actually where it got worse. Uh, not only was I not home when I said I would be to actually help get all the wet, rest of the wedding stuff that needed to be done the day before the wedding yeah. done. Uh, when I did show up, I showed up with, I don't know, 15 or jackasses, drunk mobos who started skinny dipping uh, in our pool. Uh, and I told my wife, and they're here to help Do us get the rest of the shit done. <laughs> and Mary's like, they're, they're only here to help. No! And, then, uh, and, and, shit and, got turned, upside down. and it got really upside down. And then uh, Mary and I had a knockdown drag out fight. Yeah, that's uh, the way I recall the it too. Day before the knockdown drag out. Yeah. And like uh, Lisa looked at me and she goes, uh, what do you think's gonna happen tomorrow? And I'm like, hold tight. Yeah, well, <laughs> uh, so <laughs> and, and, well and here's the thing. And, and so anybody here anybody here or anybody with a pet will actually get how serious it got. Uh, when the when the last oh. word was spoken, uh, I grabbed we had Mary and I at that time had two Rottweilers, uh, Bailey and Hunter. And Hunter was my baby girl, and I grabbed Hunter and I put her in my my. I actually picked her up and put her in my Hummer, and we got in there. And I was going to drive, and I started to drive away because I, I was like, this. "I'm fuck this, you. This done. We're not getting married. I'll take my dog. We'll go. No lie. And this into is, the sunset. Into the sunset. And so I start pulling out the driveway. And he runs around and goes. <coughs> I can attest to that. Witness. Dad. Yeah. You were well, witness. You're supposed to get married. Dad. Was, was Brett one of the bitches? He's a- <laughs> he was. <laughs> he already paid for it. You know, sometimes <laughs> you can tell some tall stories. And, and he's very tall but, yarns. But it's just vintage, vintage peas. Like, dude, please. Don't, don't, write, don't write this for <laughs> Do you hear that? Wait, his, his cadence was right on par with some beautiful classical. Like, uh, yes, it was. <laughs> I, I, remember, I remember it like it was yesterday, and he, he's, he's like, don't write this for me. And he goes, I think that you'll probably be yeah, like, I need to sign for it. I, I, I love the statement that he would put it on you. The onus is on you now. He had given you all the opportunities. Absolutely. absolutely. And, and, <clears throat> and so literally, I... Uh, Thanks, Bob. <laughs> Destroy. Oh my goodness! Jesus! Fucking! Bull in a shop! Bull in a china shop! Bitch! <laughs> Where was I? Uh, uh, <laughs> Kirk Pedersen's wife. Ooh, lucky naked. <laughs> uh, I don't think she had anything to do with us whatsoever. It was um, she well, rather like my and so, and so, but but he, but Pete actually talked me into, into staying home, and I actually I I didn't I didn't drive away that night, and then the next morning is here. Then the next morning, Mary, Sorry. no lie, this, this was funny. Mary looks at me, she says, "So what are we doing today?" And I'm like, "Well, I already paid for all this shit. Let's go." I guess I guess that's it. You know what the no good said. no good marriage t- comes out of like the calm. No, there should be a fucking terrible knockdown just like you went through. That's what that's marriage fucking is. <laughs> I hate your ass, but let's stay together anyway. I, I think the, and that's the, I think the funnier bit is no like literally if I drive away not it's and, and not because we were so mad at each other, but literally if I drive away and sleep somewhere else I likely don't even make it back. No, no. I was just <laughs> thinking, you know, what, and, and exactly. I was, I was thinking, I'm like, well, if you drive away at that point and you get pulled over, you're you're definitely getting locked up. Oh, oh so oh, yeah. <laughs> so better off just staying staying yeah. where you're at. Absolutely. But, but it was Pete. Pete was the only. Pete came out. He's like, dude. I'll I'll be honest. I didn't really care. I I don't recall it that much. I just remember I was by the uh, offshoot in the heater of the tub. That's what I remember. <laughs> That's 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 good. Good. Yeah, it was, it was actually, actually, I think about it right now, hang on, hang on, it, it was a fucking beautiful night, and I'm really glad you decided to stick around. 
<laughs> hey, Brett. As am I. Well, uh, actually, I'd be much wealthier if I had <laughs> We all would. Yeah. I, I, I don't because know. Because at least we're like, well, he's not going to do it. You're not going to fucking do it. And now you can have all the money you want. I don't know if there's a story by this. I, I just wanted to ask you, uh, whose wedding was it where somebody jumped into a fountain? When you say somebody, obviously you mean Somebody me. jumped into a fountain thinking it was only like two feet deep. <laughs> not jumped, like but eight chucked. Feet, eight feet deep. Chucked. But disappeared. Well, I feel like it was, it was to grab. Uh, mm. Jumped in the fountain thinking it was two feet deep. I thought you were eight talking eight about just mine where they no. me in. That is thought it was going to be eight feet and it turned out to be two feet. No, no, this is the opposite. And I missed my nose by a millimeter. It wasn't the grass. It wasn't the grass wedding. I was at that whole no, thing. No, I feel like the, it was, the, actually the it funnier, was either Ingalls or Antons. Actually, actually, I do have one more comment. Mary still brings this up to this day. Too. So Mary has, has her, her fond memory of, of Pete is this. She goes, so... Pete was there, like when we were getting ready to not get married, till the millionth hour of the night. And when Pete got married, he had he invited us. He was he really, was, I thought it was so cool because Pete and I had a very very up and down relationship. And we, that's true for them. And except for me, we Nothing we were really close uh, when he got married, and he invited us out to the to participate in the the. Uh, the pre the pre pre dinner and everything with the wedding party and everything it was such a cool thing, and he he rented this most beautiful condo or apartment on the ocean on a cliff, the view to die. I mean, it looked like Tony Stark's freaking dream, and that motherfucker. We we went out to that dinner. Was it was great in every way. And we came back to the, we came back from the di- dinner to this beautiful Tony Stark pad. And at like 10 o'clock, he goes, everybody get the fuck out. I don't know. No, no, get the fuck out. Get out. Get out. No, you have to leave. Burgers no, nobody's fucking drugs. up. Just leave. Right. Just, and Mary and I are walking around. Because like, cause, cause Mary and I are both like, we're staying until like fucking 7 in the morning. We're going to be fucking on the couches. We're going to be fucking making noise. We're going to fight. We're going to fuck. We're going to fight. We're going to fuck. We are going to fight. And then we're going to fuck one more time. Because Pete fucking fucked. Up our day and came and people were skipping me. While he's saying the wedding, but Mary's recollection is that motherfucker stayed too long. It's <laughs> just like, when we went to his wedding, she, shoot, Mary, my le- the least vindictive person on the planet. Oh, like, yeah. We are staying. And then and when he kicked us out, like with such class and precision, Mary's like, that motherfucker. <laughs> she was like, no, we're fucking <laughs> staying like, like, Can you believe? <laughs> I can't believe he threw us out at ten o'clock. The sun is still up. Like she was, she lost her mind. <laughs> That's good. Oh. And, I'm, and, I, and, I, and I remember walking back and go, "Fucking Pete. He fucking he knew what he's done to many other people. And he fucking blocked us from getting it on him." <laughs> oh yeah, he clearly knew. And he was like, "Nope, I'm I'm cutting this off." He shut that shit up. It was like, because it, it was early too. Because like nobody, oh, no, there was no, there was no yawns. Nobody was stumbling. It's like get the fuck out. <laughs> Glad you enjoyed the view. Just get out. Oh huh, what? Huh? Uh, actually, uh, aren't, aren't these people supposed to be here in the show? I mean, we're yes. Thank you. I didn't even get my Todd. Enter- hey, Brad. Todd. Did you, did you, entertain you, us. M&Ms. Entertain you, us, Todd. I had I asked for some brown M&Ms to show up <laughs> in my space. They have those? No. I said never mind. Hey, this is a, this is an amateur shop. They don't read the whole rider. I said if I'm going to show up in here and use names, there's a rider. Read. You put in riders? I didn't get a chance to put in riders. Yeah, the, the, the I just the, the green room was surely not not sufficient for Todd Dillon. So I see. I see. I've performed before. The green room. I right. performed. <laughs> For the record, Pete DeGrab tried to kill me twice. Well, I tried to kill Pete. Ah. Seventeen. <laughs> <laughs> A mere seventeen. I had to give up on the line. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I don't even know. I don't even know what. It, that's a, that, I think that's a funny thing. I don't remember why I was pissed at him, but do you remember one night I I stalked him. We were in the same building, and I think it was part of him fucking with me, and, and, me, and, and me and me being so fucking pissed at him. Like we moved from room to room. I'm like, so I'm gonna be honest. I think you have a bit of a problem with your temperament. <laughs> <laughs> 
I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> There's never been nicer. Oh, oh no, no, I didn't More say calm. you weren't nice. I'm just saying when your temperament <laughs> switches. There's never been nicer. <coughs> less nicer. Daniel. Yes. Have you ever seen my negative. temperament switch? Double negative. No. I'm a freaking comedy, just double hum negative. humor man. Yes, you are. I'm smiling, engaging, aggressive. Absolutely. <laughs> and just throw that one in there. You're a power, powerful, man. Powerful, yeah. powerful. One, I one, like the one, term power spec. Uh, I, 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 I owe everything I have to you. Uh, well, there's just no one above you. That's all I have to say. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, that was Todd Dillon on Todd Dillon. <laughs> As should be expected. Yeah. I'm a humble man. Clearly. Correct. <laughs> Brett, I feel like uh, I have a different recollection of college than he does. Uh, because I feel like every time that you and I were together, I tried my best to kill you. Uh, what? <laughs> Is that what yeah. happened? And uh, now that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, I, uh, uh, inadvertently, but that's how it turned out. Uh, may I change my mind? Sure. For one quick second. Yeah. Does everybody know that uh, anybody? The three of us. Yeah. Bobby Orr just got married again. Bobby Orr? Wait, hang, yeah. hang, hang on. How old is Bobby Orr? Your age. Shut you know. the fuck up! You're older than me. His age. <laughs> he's older than. He's <laughs> older, older than so, me. So, so clearly, you you had went to school with someone named Bobby Orr. No. Yes, we did. We absolutely no, did. No, we did, did not. He's in your pledge you're, flash, you're, 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 you prick. You fucking cocksucker. No, exactly. Not. He's in your pledge flash, you prick. No, we did not. Well, we did. Get it closer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I went to his first wedding. So, so yes, he married. Not, Kate, wait, hold on a second. Uh, what's so, his Bob? She married Sparky. There? Sparky. And that who was married Sparky? The oh, most disastrous Bob, wedding. Bob Orr. For oh, now we're Bob Orr. Bob is not, Bob is not Bobby, Bobby Orr. Orr. I always called him Bobby. I did too. When I bonked him, I said. Bobby, Bobby, Orr, Bobby, 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 Bobby. I, sw I swaffled Bobby Corey, Orr. Corey, that'd be like if I told you, like, yeah, you know, one of my good friends from childhood, uh, he's pretty good at hockey. He ended up uh, raping, <laughs> raping this girl at uh, the age of 16. Hang on a second, Wayno, I think you're Wayno going Gretzky. way over the top. Yeah, okay. Way over the oh, top. Oh, you, you've heard of Wayne Gretzky? He just oh, got married again. Gretzky. I wasn't invited. Yeah, Bob Orr, different than Bobby Orr. She's the other hockey legend. I, I was definitely conjuring up shit. For sure. But yes, you are correct. Bob Orr did get married. What was the thing? Uh, at the age of 50. This is going to be funny. Uh, which I thought was a joke, but that I, but that I yeah, saw the real. Like, oh, okay. Still one of the best moments ever. Oh, is that? Did you put your penis in Bob? Yeah, I did not, but uh, had I had the chance, I definitely would have. <laughs> not what you want to say. You had the chance. I can't, I I can't ima I can't, hold, on, hold on a second. I can't imagine that in your college years, you didn't have the occasion to walk by well, the operator with your wiener hanging out at face high. Oh, oh, we <laughs> went no. together for two years. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, exactly. And, and we well, tie your shoe and, and you walk well, out. If you if Pinkerton had my wiener in his eye at least seventeen times a month, I mean, oh, hang on. Every college experience to start with here's my wiener. Okay, you <laughs> no, 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 Pinkerton was kind of fat, and so his, his he thing was kind of fat. down in the, in the bottom. That's what he got to walk. Uh, he was right at the wrong height when I would come out of the shower, and he'd be sitting tying his shoes, and sometimes my wiener would hit him in the face. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes it would just happen. Like, sometimes. <laughs> I can't believe you're sitting this close to the aisle where I have to go get my socks. Would you please put your wiener away? <laughs> Brett, 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 the last time that we were together, did I tell the story uh, of when you and I were uh, rooming together and uh, you, you were fun with each other? You, you were. Uh, you, you and that? You were together. <laughs> can, can You had brought uh, Brett. No, you can do that. Brett, you had brought <laughs> back to the room. Oh, so oh my god, wait. Hang on. What? <laughs> he said her name. Hold on, I've got What if she's like a nun now? You're going to get kicked out of her gown. Fidelity. It could be that. Sister 2.
You gotta like turn it on. Sister shit. You, you gotta wiggle it. Okay. So, <laughs> uh, at that, at that time, uh, we were operating under the, if you put a sock on the doorknob, don't come and knock in sort of a scenario. I actually, I think we did talk about. Wasn't it a Christian school? We not talk about anything uh, further. Right, but but that was on the episode <laughs> that was lost to obscurity. <laughs> thanks well, that, that, thanks to your cell phone. Ahead. These guys. That was on the episode that was lost to obscurity. Thanks to your cell phone. I enjoyed having sex with her more than most people. <laughs> All right, back, back to the story. Is this recorded? Uh, yes. <laughs> Are we recording right now? Are we recording? Are we recording? Oh my god. Are we recording right now? Who's Chris123? So, if you recall, we had the L shaped loft. Got Sue573 yeah, in the room. We had the L shaped loft in Bob Wright, and Pinkerton and <laughs> Cook. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I know this. Yeah. I know. I know you. Jesus Christ. Oh, I, I can you. bring this up now, are you? Yes, I am. <sighs> yeah. And, and there's uh, a hole. There's a hole in the wall. Oh, this is actually, oh, this is actually a quality story. Wall. And it's not even the hole you're thinking. <laughs> there's a hole in the wall Daniel's about, not using her about uh, eight feet off the floor. You know, I, I, uh, I, I fucked her in 103. Eight feet? <laughs> Up on the... No. On the like, it makes it a lot easier to go to class and you think to yourself, I just had sex with somebody right down there. <laughs> Anyway, very proud of you. Is there another reason? So I, I, I got back to the room uh, only to find the sock on the doorknob. Young I'm not young, sure it was a sock. I am going to say it was like a scarf or something. Yeah, let's just say sock. Yeah. Uh, young Brett had a female in the room, and so I went down to Jay Shriver's room. Jay Shriver's room. Jay Shriver. 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 His Shriver. son is playing an uh, album. Yeah, he is. Yeah. Uh, little Super Mario 3. And uh, Pinkerton stopped in, and... Uh, we were, we were sitting there in Shriver's room. He's like, hey, what's, uh, where's Brenda? I go, nah, he's in the room. He's got some chick in there. He's like, oh. Oh, let's make this happen. I'll be, I'll be right back. <laughs> so we left and went wow. into his room, which is joined ours. Uh, and he Come got, climbed up in their loft. Common which, skinny wall. Which was separated with by no, a wall um, with our room. Insulation plates. And a hole that was in the wall right by the loft. Right. And attempted to... Used his eyeball to look through the hole to see what was going on with young Brett. There's a and hole in the wall. <laughs> coitus. Yes. Uh, coitus. Coitus interruptus. Coitus. So Brett, he, Brett being Brett, um, got wind of this through the no, rust, the I, rustling. I can see it. The rustling that was going on in the in the room next door, and decided to put a stop to it. So Brett. Never have enjoyed a pencil. Anymore. Brett said. <laughs> Excuse me, I'll be right back. Okay. Mounted the ladder, climbed up to the top <laughs> bunk, grabbing a pencil from his desk, and upon reaching that top bunk, jabbed the pencil through the hole. Through with great glee. And down in the J. Sharma's room, all I heard was, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, several cool. minutes later, a uh, young Pat Pickerman showed up in Jay's room, holding his eye. I'm like, whoa, what happened? Columbus. He said, Nothing. 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 Yeah. Sorry. So the question was: it was it eraser first, or was it? Lead? Oh no, it was lead first. Oh, oh jabbed Jesus into the hole. Jesus Christ, Brett! Stabbed him the I'm not convinced. The hell? I'm not convinced it had a sharp edge. I think it was a pre no. uh, designated her <laughs> An unsharp edge. Is, is she just reached out to me, by the way. Pre designated. Is that what? Who? That would be the one. Right? No shit. You, you should you absolutely remember. Like and then tell her the story and see how many chuckles you get. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you laugh? Let's do it now. No, of course. <laughs> some type of, I think I'm going to jail for this one. No, I think you're going to jail. Yeah, I think so. No, I'm, I'm thinking, that's fine. no, I'm thinking I'm going to get divorced. Oh, no, <laughs> no. That's probably the best thing I can Look, Brett, Brett, no one's listening to this. Uh, it's being recorded, therefore, anyone could look, listen to this look, at look, any look. point. So. And the team is in the room. <laughs> 15. Or as <laughs> Phil used to call her, <laughs> horse head. Ooh. Oh, uh, I think horse heads are attractive, so there you go. Yeah, her eyes are too far apart. Oh. Whose eyes are too far apart? Long snow. Ben Ben she she had a fucking rocking body. She did an incredible body. Turns out she's still there. Oh, yeah. By the way, they all do. For the record. <laughs> the face is horrible, they all think. And from what I hear, I, you, you, you know what? I, I ran into her at the wayside one night and I almost pulled it off. I had her. <laughs> 
And I have a hook. And then you realize. Right, make me feel bad. And then you realize. Okay. No, I fucked. I, no, I actually fucked it up. I, I was dancing with her, and again, you don't have to her. fuck it up with her. It's very Most incredible. No, I. Oh, I get closer. I jacked it up big time. So I, Ooh. we, uh, we were dancing together. I'm like this. The, the, the hook Jack, is set. You have some if you want. And then I turned my head. And reading. when our I'm eyes, reading. well, at least when you my eyes got the insides of her nostrils, and I couldn't see her. I read both of you. I jacked it up. Like, a, like an old man getting into a hot bath. <laughs> so actually, it's, 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 <laughs> so do, what about? Do, so can I? We talk about? Uh, yeah, sure. Do you remember? Sure. Yeah, sure. Closer, I don't remember her name. Yeah, uh, it was. Uh, more times if my dad will tell me. To so uh, do we have some type of should legal we say, should, obligation? Exactly. Here? Should we do like? Like, I'm actually not. You need to have that up. Yeah, exactly. Because anyway, because when I some say, 25 year old kid comes over and goes, uh, that's, but, you're my th- dad. Th- th- this is a good story that weighs, <laughs> that, that gives me, my, again, my scruples, not, not eating my fried chicken after somebody's fingered it. <laughs> so so, I, so I, I'm, not, I'm not a boob guy. Yeah. I mean, I'm not opposed to go it. figure. But I'm not a boob guy. You're a foot guy? I'm, oh, no. Knees? <laughs> No, okay, oh, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You do let, know that women like when you lick the pussy. Okay, let guys. me just state the record that uh, we have a lot. No. Of, we, <laughs> Andy, we have no Andy. Is what he meant to say. We, we, have, yes. we have a lot of uh, 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 college college friends and and classmates uh, rebooting that under that know about this podcast. Okay, but you should still probably because. I'm sure that she's not a friend of mine because of what I did. But she's anyway. a friend of mine. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so all right. I'm just anyway, you. anyway, there's I'm not a, I'm not a, I'm not a boobs guy. Although I, like I said, I'm not opposed to boobs. I'm not anti-boob. It's just not. The th- I'm I'm an ass man. Oh no, say it ain't. You so. know what I love about you is that we're both ass men. Ass man. <laughs> so, but anyway, this particular ankle to ass. This I'm all about the ass. Ankle to ass. Kelly ankle to ass. Kelly ankle to ass. Kelly ankle to ass. Kelly ankle to ass. Per, per, Particularly blessed in the boob category, and so much so that she had become the talk of our fraternity house. And she did. And one, and, and, I, and I, I, I ignored it. And from ankle to ass, she was hot. I, I ignored it until one guy goes, and her boobs are so big and so firm, you can swing on them. And I'm like, I've never even like, <laughs> listen to me. I all of a sudden get I'm like, <gasps> I, exactly. And I was like, can you? Never, I thought to myself, I've like, never I could actually swing. swing uh, uh, well, and she's a, t- and she's a tall girl, okay, taller than me. I see. And so I should do that. No, no, uh, no. Her, her, her breasts or whatever. But no, is there one a good? No, actually, horse one. No, never mind. Not her. But anyway, hang, hang on. Did, did you just say taller than you? Yes, absolutely taller that's than me. That's five foot ten. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, John. Sorry. That's I'm like you're not much taller than I am. And I'm not ten, ten and a half. She's six yeah, feet. But she's like six, over six feet. Two six two. And she, and she had boobs. You, and, she, and again, the, the story was going around. In fact, she was six two. Yes, and boobs you can hang off of. So I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, you know, I might actually, I might have to check this out. So one night I put, you add a lot. I put a, put some boobs on, got and got her dead. Whoa, 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 which boobs are these? Do do tell. This is the horse woman. No, 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 this is the big, this is the bigger woman with the bigger boobs. Bush because I, because I heard that you could swing from them, and I'm like, I gotta, the Amazonian I, one. I gotta see it. And so I put into to motion a set of uh, maneuvers that uh, <laughs> oh, strategic which, maneuvers which, exactly that would land me an opportunity to swing from said breasts. I see. And uh, I executed my plan flawlessly as I always had it back in the day. <laughs> swung from those bits. Did. Well, no, I did. So here's what happened. Here's the thing. This scruples. Turns out. Turns, this, is, this, this story should be called scruples. Oh, I see. So not a boot man, but I did want to. I did want to swing on since I've heard about it, and uh, pulled off what was necessary to get her back to the place. And literally, I was like, the and the boobs were looking spectacular. She had the perfect shirt on. Exactly. She had the perfect <laughs> shirt on. It was it was the perfect setup. I kind of like the guy across from me. <laughs> and uh, oh, so, so literally, so I'm like, and, I, and, liter- and I'm like taking my time. I'm like, I'm gonna play with these on the outside. <laughs> I'm gonna take my side, get the inside. And I played with them on the outside for so long. I had to go to the bathroom. So I'm like, oh, oh, oh. I'm, like, go to the I'm like, I gotta go to the bathroom. Like, make you're sure. taking too much time. You gotta, you gotta take a bathroom break when as, you're playing. As one does. And I'm glad I did. I go. Hey, oh. you make yourself comfortable. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. 
No, <laughs> <laughs> we're talking about math. That sounded yeah, really so sexy too. Extrapolation. Yeah, I did. You take your time. Get comfortable. I gotta freaking do what I need to do. Uh -huh. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back in a second. So no lie, I go to the bathroom and I come back into my room and she is bare naked, sans bra and patties on my bed. And I'm like, bra and patties. TV, bra and panties. Oh, okay. And this doesn't make so, you. Like, <laughs> no lie, I say to myself, I'm like, TV, you. I'm on third person. I did. I did it. I said it. But you don't still do. In all honesty, I've said that to myself a bunch about you. Tell me you don't say sometimes when you get a good parking spot, TV. <laughs> it is, it is. Actually, from here on out, that's what I'm going to think about. I'm like deathbed. I'm going to be like, TV. <laughs> you got a good, <laughs> you got a good view. Exactly. You got a good view. Bitch. So no lie. Roll back in her room. She's She's got bra. Panties. Wait, who is this? Who? Oh, oh. And I roll back in. I roll back in. I she shut my have. door, and I'm like, I have freaking set this up to work out exactly how I wanted to, and yeah. now we're at the. If the her pinnacle. tits are and, and I take one. No, hold on. Off I, ball. I take one step into my room, and I stop, and I go. You get, you get, you get. Because we're college kids, right? And, like, and I go to myself. Self. I, T D I say? T D. <laughs> Did you have free toes? Did you have what? Free toes. The snap. The oh, toes. I'll, I'll tell you who had free toes. And I go and I start looking around, I'm like, what? I didn't I'm poor, I don't have the snacks like everybody else has got. I got no free toes, no Cheetos. What, what's the poor no man's toasty free toes? toes? Were you smelling <laughs> I didn't, I didn't have no O's. No O's. No no O's. <laughs> I had no corn chips of any kind. <laughs> but I, what I did see on the floor in, in a pile of clothes was a dirty set of K-Swiss. <laughs> and so I told me <laughs> to get the fudge of my room. And I got to hang from those boobies because she's a dirty woman. <laughs> dirty. Not Fritos. Fritos. I smelled a fresh sack of corn salted treats mm. you know, the reality and I, and I could not corn. make that happen I had to push back on it so I never got swing for those movies I wanted to but I did not get to so it smelled like dog's feet it smelled like fritos and I don't eat them to this day <laughs> I don't think I swore myself from fritos wait, until wait now. hold on chili cheese negative <laughs> <laughs> fuck Popeyes <laughs> <laughs> Bob, you need to add out people's names because I mean they were a dirty kid, so the case was. Yeah. By the way, you could <laughs> swing for those tits for about twenty minutes until they they were. Uh, yeah. I never swung. I was I was part. I can't I can't be with a dirty one. Part. I, I wanna, can't be with a dirty one. I want to hear the end of that sentence. The end actually comes with regard to other people. I don't understand that statement, no, but uh, I, think it's, uh, I, I think it's best that we do this. Well, keep moving. Sue M just left the room. <laughs> Good night. I love you, Jack. Night, Jack. Night, Jack. See you, Jack. Ciao, Bella. Hey, Ciao, right. Bella. Where's my the CD? Green. Don't uh, leave my CD. Oh, yeah, I'll get that for you right now. When are you coming to Denver to play, bitch? <laughs> A long time. I mean, uh, Jack. Oh, hold on, dude. Sorry, that came up wrong. Yeah, I was gonna say I haven't. Yeah, I haven't been able to call your kids bitch. <laughs> I don't think we're quite there yet, sir. If you want to, I'm fine. With eh, it. Yeah, but I uh, I'd run it by you first. <laughs> no, I'm not the one that's actually. I know. Mediator I know you're not. there. Uh, uh, there'd be we, we'd be somebody else. Us maybe. guys that never are. I, I actually have nothing to do with it. I, the, the reality I, is, I, I knew that for sure. <laughs> My life is ten times tougher yeah. than I am. I knew that for you. You said case? 10? What? CD I would use 10 to 1. Yes, I would use a different number. <laughs> 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 I'm like, I can't hear you. You have a CD case. case. Actually, you need a CD case? Yes. Right now. Actually, my kids are. Right now. Where are you? Yeah. Right now you need it. I have the disc, but I don't have a case. Right now you need it. Count on not taking your CD. There's no right. way you can wait. Thank you. Okay. He doesn't need a crystal case. What are we doing? What are we doing? I don't know. Thank you. I'll get you one as soon as I can. Jack, I Jack, I like you. Jack, I love you. Thank you. Way to take both of those with a of salt. I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> and you can come play, play video games with me anytime. I'll take you. I didn't there. know we were going that far. <laughs> or darts. Or I'll, or I'll emasculate you and your dad. Oh, Uncle Todd is uh, indisposable. Did you try, just try yeah. to say emasculate? I did. The next. 
the neck, the micro. You said masking tape. No, I said, I said emasculate. <laughs> oh, oh, remember the brother man, bro? A little bit of ebonics. No, I said emasculate. No, you didn't. I know the word. Don't try emasculating. You're, you're tape. talking too fast. <laughs> That's <laughs> partially educated. It's a negative. We all know. Prosopica. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Prosopica. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. All right. Fire distinguisher. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna bring it to episode forty-two. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Are, are we gonna end, end this now? What? Why is it ending? Hang on. <laughs> we, we just got started. It's the first time anybody laughed in like forty-five minutes. Uh, you, Officer, you, you bitches waited too long. Officer, episode forty-two. Officer, <laughs> I, I want to ask you right now. Who does own the railroad? The railroad. <laughs> Reading. Oh, in, in only, Pennsylvania. We oh. think it's strange. I, I, I will say this right now. Yeah. Anytime you're confronted by said Johnny Q Law, you, what you want to do is deflect the idea of uh, culpability. Right? Brett, you're the only one that I know of who's actually done that successfully. It just <laughs> takes suave. <laughs> and therefore, when you when you do it with conviction, sure. And you tell them, you look in the eye, picture? and they're 18, and, and you you're 22, and you no, realize, I no, have control no. right now. <laughs> and you say to them something like, so we were just wondering, <clears throat> who really does own the railroad? I think no one does. does. You know how I was telling you when Wally was doing the podcast, he was, like, he was enthralled with his own voice? That's what's going on right now. Hell of a lot. Should we give him the headphones? Yeah, I know. It's, it's much better. Way. It was the beginning of the end oh. when we did that. My, my buddy Nolan used to say, he's like, you know, sometimes when you come to work and you're hungover and you're probably still a little intoxicated, what you got to do is you just got to look angry. Just, just <laughs> look at the ground and look like you're angry all the time and no one will bother you. He's like, you look. You That's look. absolutely true. <laughs> Are we? And I, before we leave, I hate kickers. <laughs> God love you. Nobody does. I hate. Still trying to wrap my head around that one, but uh, it's 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 still an insight. <laughs> So for the end. Oh no! I know. I, 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 I yeah, let's get to the end. The end. Here we go. Here we're we gonna go. jump to the end. Jump. Jump. Here we go. Jump. 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 All right. Dude, well, here we go. Come on. You're killing me. No, th- actually, right. this is gonna be realistic. Yeah. Or pointed. Pick one. Okay. That's a good point. It's totally fine. So here's my deal. <laughs> <laughs> if an officer of the law decides to engage you with. Uh, his problematic scenarios. You might want to think about being calm, precise, white, <laughs> deliberately <laughs> antithesis, right? and let him know that I have white. <laughs> Episode 42. Yep, the can. Thank you to everybody Ciao, for Bob. listening. Ciao. Thank you, Nick Bader. Thank you, Bob Johnny W. Rankin. Thank you, Corey. You got Danielle. It. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yep. Brett Ingle. Todd Dillon. Zanzibar. What? W W T D D. What would Todd Dillon do? <laughs> Todd, Dillon, Todd Dillon would end this shit right now. That's what he would do. 5,000 G. He forced me to have another shot. Is what he did. Woo! Yeah. Have a good night, everyone. Good night. Take care. Why? Good job. That sounds so much better. Dude, that was awesome. Good job, gentlemen. Okay, I, I don't know if it was a good job, but it was fun. Good job. <laughs> who was, who was did he? we entertain you? I was entertained. Okay, okay. I was highly entertained. Who is, but who's your buddy that kept thinking that he was Danielle, on the How can I be funnier? When you guys, I mean, uh, it's not you. They kept like talking into the mic. It's the other people. Oh, uh, no, so, just, they, 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 they